sports page with the Orlando Sentinel and FM 96.9 The Games, Mike the Bulldog Bianchi. On JRR. The sports page is brought to you by Kaufman and Lind Injury Attorneys. Jeff Kaufman will be here next hour, by the way, for uh, the weekly lawn disorder segment. If you've got a legal question you want to... Uh, you know, get over to us two two five two six. Just just keep it short. That's all we ask. Again, two two five two six with those for that free legal advice. All right, uh, Bulldogs on vacation, by the way. Um, so so we'll be handling sports in the interim. Uh, let's start off with the Open Championship from Royal Troon in Scotland. Xander Shoffley, the winner. Taco Bob. And yesterday, Pat <laughs> Pat sends me a text. He goes. Something along the lines of, man, Shoffley's just draining him. I can sure call a call the winner. And I'm like, you, I was going to text this, but I saved it for the air. You are so full of Scheffler. <laughs> Damn you. I even gave you my golfer, Scotty Scheffler, and then you try acting like you did Shoffley. That dude's on fire, Shoffley is. Final round, 65, finishes 9-under, uh, two strokes ahead of second place, Justin Rose. Uh, number one in the world, Scotty Scheffler, finished in a tie for seventh at 1-under. He had a lot of putting issues, it appeared, Taco Bob. Yeah, yeah. How did my guy Oberg do? God, I don't even know if he made the weekend. Uh, I do know that uh, that now means the, uh, the Americans have uh, swept the majors this year. Which is the... Uh, Last time that happened was uh, almost 50-something years ago, I think. Something like that. A long time ago. Orlando City, a 1-1 draw with New York City FC Saturday night at the Purple Palace. All right, it's not a win, but it's not a loss. Exactly. It's a point in the column. After all those wins that we had leading up to it, we'll take the draw. So uh, there you go. Um, Oh, let's get over to the F1 desk where we had a bit of a surprise over the weekend. F1 desk, Taco Bob, scrambling for uh, his 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 notes there. Oh, why would we be looking for notes when we have to congratulate Oscar Piastri? (laughs) Whatever, Oscar something. Oscar the Grouch taking the win yesterday. McLaren, one-two finish. Uh... Uh, Lando Norris was out in front and was ordered by his uh, team to let Oscar pass him and uh, win the race to make up for uh, a favorable pit stop earlier in the race that took uh, Oscar out of first. Would you do that? Uh, You know, F1 has a different kind of mentality. I can understand it, but uh, I also, I watched the race. I could understand Lando, who seemed to be resisting against it uh, for quite some time, his perspective, because he's literally, uh, he's been on fire lately, and that win would have helped him in his quest to, Mm -hmm. you know, keep pace with Max Verstappen, who was fifth, by the way, and acted like a little bitch yesterday. I want to tell you that right now. I don't even, I don't, I, I know I do the F1 desk every week. I couldn't even point him out on a lineup. Anyway. Like, if I got mugged by Max Verstappen, I wouldn't even know what he looked like. All right. well, I'm just being honest. There you go. There's your, your <laughs> F, F, F1 <laughs> updates. <laughs> I did make sure I look it up yesterday, yes. Meanwhile, uh, NASCAR, uh, the Brickyard 400 from Indianapolis, Kyle Larson comes from uh, way back, makes a late charge. Uh, it ended up becoming a fuel race for a lot of drivers uh and it got quite interesting as it went into a second overtime eventually finishing under caution though that was enough though for for larson to get the finish there at the brickyard uh it it was pretty pretty fun race to watch so Mm. now nascar is off for a couple of weeks for the olympics because the olympics are on nbc and so is the nascar and nbc is utilizing all their networks for olympic coverage Mm -hmm. and it was a little delayed nascar was yesterday because the uh, big announcement Remember? Uh, I, I, I yeah, it went it went straight. I was I was watching golf, had it taped on a delay, yeah, and paused, and then um, and then all of a sudden, right after golf, the breaking news came in yeah. about Biden stepping down, and I was like, oh, the Brickyard's delayed now. What's uh, Lynch doing? All right, let's see. Uh, what else we got happening here? Uh, tragic news out of the college football world: apparent cliff diving accident Saturday took oh. the life of uh, a player who was set to play for Utah State in the fall, uh, drowning at Porcupine Dam, reported... A player uh, or a diver? Player. He it was cliff diving. 
yeah. uh, into a, a dam. I didn't know they called divers players. I, thought I, was, I was curious. I watched a special on them. College football player dies oh, in cliff dive gone. Got around. it, got it. Sorry, I was writing down stuff on my show track over here. Anyway, um, Andre Seldon Jr. had been uh, transferred from New Mexico State and was set to play for uh, Utah State. I, he went off this into this dam, body of water, and uh, never surfaced, drowned. I thought, dude, we, I watched these actual cliff divers for Red Bull. Have you ever seen that? Yeah, it's insane. That's, oh, my God. That, that's flat out nuts. They had the reporter bring the camera up with them. If you have never seen cliff diving from actual divers that are going to be in the Olympics or dive for the Red Bull team, Google it. It. They brought the reporter up. Pat, I thought he was going to throw up. He was so high up. Even he was, like, shaking. He's going, i got to get down, like, now. Major League Baseball Hall of Fame inductions uh, in Cooperstown. Adrian Beltre, Joe Maurer, Todd Hilton, and Jim Leland all inducted into baseball's Hall of Fame. Uh, it, meanwhile, in uh, actual baseball action, uh, Tampa Bay Race 6-4 win uh, in New York against the Yankees yesterday. They will play again today. Miami 4-2 win in Miami versus the Mets. They will play again today at 6-40. Uh, some other stuff here to share with you. Um, it was an interesting day for the uh, 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 U.S. men's <laughs> Olympic basketball team. They almost lost to the Sudan. Are you serious? Yeah. Uh, Come on, guys. Uh, Le- LeBron James made a layup with eight seconds left to uh, seal the deal and top South Sudan in an exhibition in London. Um <laughs> LeBron says it's be- he says he likes those games better than the blowouts. He says at least we get tested. Tested? Yeah, S- yeah. South Sudan, dude. You're getting tested by the Sudanese? Come on, dude. Yeah. And then, uh, let's see. Oh, the WNBA All-Stars defeated uh, the women's U.S. Uh, Olympic team. Um, final was 117-109. to 109. Most notable performance of the game came from I don't even know how you say this. Uh, uh, Reiki Ungabawe put up 34 points. Not familiar with her. I mean, Nor any other WNBA yeah. player, except for Caitlin. Yeah, well, she was part of that effort to uh, <laughs> beat the Olympic team she was snubbed from making. Put some whooping on it. Yeah, there you go. Well, that's what I got sports wise. I think I got most of it in. Yeah, it was a big weekend of sports. All right. Um,. I have a feeling uh, it's going to kind of slow down for the next few days until the Olympics kick in on, well, opening ceremonies on Friday. That's why the dog takes off and does his mountain vacation every time around this year. Did he head for the mountains already, or is he? No, no, I haven't. I don't have my dog tracker on. I don't have the chip on him. (laughs) All right, everybody. Legend Taco.